Hello and welcome class of 2023. We are so excited to have you join our school and cannot wait to meet all of you. Hey everyone, welcome to see you. Welcome to med school. Welcome to Colorado, home of the Rockies. Welcome, welcome class of 2023. Hey everyone, welcome to medicine, welcome to anatomy, and I promise it only gets better from here. Welcome to see you. Welcome to Colorado, class of 2023. Can't wait to meet you all. Bonjour, salam. And a very warm welcome to you, class of 2023. Welcome, class of 2023. We can't wait to meet you. Welcome to see you, class of 2023. Welcome to see you, School of Medicine, class of 2023. Welcome to Colorado. Class of 2023, congratulations. You've made it to medical school, and we're so excited to have you here with us at CU. Hey class of 2023, welcome to med school. We are genuinely thrilled that you're here. For this year's video, I wanted to capture what it was like being a student here at CU, rather than throwing a bunch of information at you, because let's be honest, you're gonna have to memorize tons of stuff in anatomy anyway. Over the next few minutes, I hope that you'll get a sense of what it's like living life here in Denver as a student at the University of Colorado, and the amount of support that we get from our deans for everything that we do. It really is an incredible experience and a wonderful lifestyle, and I hope you enjoy the video. My first piece, I think, would be you are here for a reason. The admissions committee didn't mess up. Your application didn't somehow slip into the accepted pile. You are absolutely here for a reason and bring an incredibly unique and different viewpoint than your classmates because you are you, and that's why we accepted you. We are here to make sure that you're successful, and we are passionate about that. We have an amazing group of students, but you will see that you all come from incredibly diverse backgrounds. Um, and I mean that on every level of diversity. But I want everybody to remember that we all have shared values, and those values are caring for patients, caring for people, and that includes caring for each other. So that is my message, is that we are collectively in this profession together. And the number one way you can make sure that you're all su successful is to support each other. And just remember that we're there to join in that support. The second is pay attention to email. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they come often. We are sending important messages for a reason, not because we're spamming you. And the other third oh. piece of advice is wear sunscreen during orientation. Yes. Can I say ditto and be done? That's probably not so good. So <laughs> I, it's similar to what they said. I guess I would emphasize a couple things. As Dean Zender said, um, you're here for a reason, and the reason is not just that we think you're going to be a phenomenal doctor, it's that we think that you're going to contribute to our school, and you are going to make our school a better place. And so it's really important from my perspective that you try and contribute what makes you unique to our school, and be true to yourself, and be true to your classmates, because those are the people that are really going to help pull you through. Is that okay? Whatever you do, listen to your deeds. That's the number one. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, that's it, right? Yeah, that should be it. If you do what we say, you're going to be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think three years from now, we're going to be at the tricorder stage where you just go, <laughs> <laughs> it tells you what it is. So what I does think that mean? It's a Star Trek reference. Oh. Sorry, uh, Dean Zender doesn't watch TV. She doesn't watch TV. TV. Yeah. Tricorder. Yeah. 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 Should, can we Google that later? So really, I guess the best advice is, is you know, get a degree in bioengineering at the same time. <laughs> you're gonna edit that out, right? I, I just want to make sure before I give you my answer that you're gonna be able to like lose 20 pounds off of me and give me your hair. <laughs> I promise you, we are not intimidating at all. Uh, our doors are always open for you. I should just walk away, walk away, but it grips me, it grips me, but I should walk away. 
I guess, like, you know, reflecting since I'm old and wise now. Um, that med school is really hard. And just be prepared that there's going to be a lot of, like, life shifts and shifts on, like, how you handle your relationships and kind of your priorities and everything. But um, it's all for the better. And it prepares you for doing, like, the best profession ever. And you'll be really surprised at, like, the types of things that you can overcome. So I guess I just wanted to say that med school is really hard and if you think it's hard that does not make you dumb. I know some people like feel like they don't belong here uh, but everyone thinks it's hard and it's okay if you think it's hard that's very normal and you guys are gonna do great. Dang it! I have to, I have to get in. I have to get in. Not work out every day. This is our wellness rep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Gonna make sure everybody's hydrated. <laughs> you can cut them off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I've actually been passing on water. You know, I haven't touched this side yet. But you only water. Wow, you're so cute. Hey, yo. Thank, Thank you. Actually. Whoever needs the water, take a water. I, I just have to honestly hang around long enough that people start saying yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. See everybody! Water daddy. Water daddy? That's from uh that's from Jackson. Uh, rave daddy. <laughs> I think the advice that I would give to medical students uh, coming into the first year is to remember to have fun. We're pretty good at it, clearly. Um, but I think that while studying is really important and it'll take up a lot, a lot of your time, uh, your class is going to be a really good source of support. Um, and we do a lot of cool stuff together, whether it's skiing or hanging out in the park. And I think that everybody should like that. We're all just so supportive. It's not a competition. We're all just like, everybody pass, like we can do it. And it's really great. It's awesome. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's very challenging, but it's so worth it. And now that I'm on the other side of first year, I can say that. So in the middle, I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's a great experience. I loved it. <laughs> Ready for a second year? Don't think that you can park in the visitor lot and just get away with it for a little bit. They will catch you and they will give you a ticket and then boot your car and next thing you know you're having to make monthly installments to the parking police because you're a horrible parker. Hey man. It's like taken. They will find you. They, they will. They've acquired a set of skills. They will find you and they have all of your information so they know.
you're feeling nervous or anxious or maybe even a little excited, know that we take care of each other here at CU and you're gonna have an amazing and unforgettable first year experience. And above all else, always remember, stay foxy. I can wiggle my ears. Ooh, that's pretty see? cool. No, not, not right, I'll show you. Ooh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh. That, I didn't know. Oh, <laughs> that changes my entire conception of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh...